joining us at FCPS All Stars today. We have with us Sarah Alderman, general and choral music teacher at Ballinger Creek Elementary School. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I detect a little bit of an accent there. Uh, just Where a, are you from? Just a little bit. Um, I'm from Southwest Virginia, outside of Roanoke, from a little place called Radford, Virginia, which has Radford University. Oh. And it's also about 15 minutes from Virginia Tech. And is that where you met your Navy husband? I did. We met when we were 16 years old in high school. Mm -hmm. um, but we had, it's a very small county, and we had two high schools there. And so, of course, we were arch rivals, like some of the high schools in our county. Mm -hmm. So our, because the schools had decreased in numbers, they decided to build one county high school. So the two arch rivals were put into the same high school. And that's how I met my husband. I was on the cheerleading squad, um, basketball cheerleader, and he was a basketball player from the other school. And when I started dating him, my friends weren't real pleased with me. I bet they were. <laughs> and now, look at you now. <laughs> We've been married almost 35 years. It'll be 35 years in October. So I understand that out of this 35-year union, you've got some great kids. I do. And you have one little grandbaby that uh, you are especially proud of. I do. Tell me about I it. I have a son, Joe, and he and his wife, Priscilla, live in um, Chicago, actually, so I don't get to see them very much. And she's in education. She teaches in a Montessori school. Okay. And then my daughter, Katie, and her boyfriend live in Columbia. And I have a granddaughter who is the love of my life. Her name is Mia, and she'll be a year old in May. Okay. I understand that you've been teaching at Ballinger Creek Elementary School for 24 years. I have. You've been in the exact same classroom all this time. I have. What is that like? It's comfortable and I know the community well. Mm -hmm. I've built my program there and I'm especially proud of the choral program that I've built there. Um, and now my co-teacher and I uh, do it together, Jocelyn Barker. and. I am also teaching uh, children of students that I taught years ago, so I call them my grand students. So you're a grandma and you've got grand <laughs> students. It's just flowing like it should, right? It is. But it, it's, a, it's nice. The, the community has really changed. I've seen it change in several different ways. Um, but it's, it's, really, it's really awesome to see the kids come back. And actually, I have students who have actually come in um, as student teachers okay. into our school. So it's nice to watch them grow and flourish. Yeah. And it must be so wonderful to see your work just go on and on and on, that your investment in these students have helped make them productive citizens, parents. It is. You know, and they're keeping you in business. It is. They're giving you more students every they, year. <laughs> they are. They're giving me quite a few more students every year. Where did you get your love of music? I grew up in a musical family, but it's mostly from my grandmother. Um, she would play the piano, and when we would go and visit every Sunday, I had a song that I would ask her to play. It was Mansion Over the Hilltop. She would play it by ear. Uh, because most of my family does not read music like I do, and I don't play by ear. If, if there's not music, I, I, it, I'm lost. Um, but I would say, play it again, Grandma, play it again, and she just made it sound so wonderful, and I was like, I really want to play like her. So I started taking piano lessons when I was in fourth grade, okay. and I, I really can't imagine my life not being able to do that. What do you like most about music? What makes it so special to you? You know, I, I asked my children that today in school. Did you? And I told them, I said, this is a question I'm going to be asked. And I said, you know, that's a big question. And um, a lot of them I, gives the same answer that I do. It, it helps me express who I am, mm -hmm. how I feel. I've been f fortunate and kind of unfortunate sometimes to sing at life events. I sang at my own wedding. I've sang at my father's funeral, and I sang at my mom's funeral in September. Wow. And I have sung at the weddings of friends, and I'm hoping one day to be able to sing at the wedding of my granddaughter. Oh, that would be special. <laughs> and you must sound pretty good because your husband went ahead with it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a choice. <laughs> Since you're so much into music, who are some of your favorite singers? 
my all-time favorite singer, who doesn't really sing a lot anymore, is Bette Midler. I grew up loving Bette Midler. Really? Oh, yes. I saw her. I've seen her in concert. I love Bette Midler. Love the, the sound of her voice. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I, I am the music director at my church, and I play with a praise band. Okay. And um, so I do a lot of contemporary Christian music. And one of the, my favorite singers right now, her name is Francesca Battistelli. And, um, and I also really, on the opposite end of the spectrum, love Prince. Get or out. the man formerly known as Prince, or whatever <laughs> he's being called right now. Yes, I think his voice is incredible. I think of music kind of like mm -hmm. a buffet. You know, sometimes there's stuff on there you don't like, but you can often find something you do when you walk away full anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly it. Stay tuned next week for our next FCPS All-Stars and shine on.